good morning, everybody. How are things going this morning? I've been playing around this morning with my audio and trying to get my chat up and running. And it's also very confusing when you're new to using OBS, but I'm learning a lot. So I appreciate you guys allowing me to do this with you every morning. It's teaching me a lot about live streaming and how to use OBS and getting all my elements and everything together. So I'm tooling around with uh, trying to make this as simple as possible because I'm coming to you live from a coffee shop, which is really convenient for me. I'd rather do it here because I'm here doing work anyway, and I'd rather just pop in with you while I'm here working. And so it works out real well just being here at the coffee shop. Noise can be sort of a problem sometimes, but that's okay. I'm here early, 8.30 in the morning, and it's usually pretty quiet. Um, pop into the chat, let me know you're here, <clears throat> and uh, see how things are going. Hope you're getting some writing done. Now, I've run into a couple of problems already this week. I wasn't able to get in my two hours of writing yesterday, and I only got a hour or so in the day before, so that puts me behind about three hours, which tells me over the weekend I'm going to have to do some writing. Because the goal here is to write for 10 hours a week, and it doesn't really matter how you put that time in. You can do it all in one day if you want, I suppose, just spend 10 hours on Saturday. But the goal is to write 10 hours a week for 10 weeks. Um, we're going to attack this thing about screenwriting a little bit at a time and uh, kind of take it out in chunks. And so that's kind of um, the idea. And uh, instead of trying to do it all at once, because it's overwhelming when you think about having to write 100 pages of a screenplay, you think, oh my God, how am I ever going to accomplish that? Well, we do it in little bits and chunks. And we're going to, uh, you know, do it a couple hours at a time. That's the idea, 10 hours at a time. So 10 hours a week, get in your time and try to do the best you can. And uh, then once we get that first draft done here in about 90 days, then you'll be able to uh, join me and we'll talk about doing some revisions, things of that sort. So uh, this morning, just a couple of thoughts. Uh, I thought I'd bring up some notes for today, just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking. Um, we've talked about some things over the last, by the way, this is day five of our journey. I began this thing last week. We went Thursday and Friday of last week. And this week we've gone Monday, Tuesday, and today is a Wednesday. So we're into this today five. And we're going to be coming to you at least for the next 90 days. So day five has already gone by. Um, and I've got a lot done in those uh, five days. I've got my synopsis written and I've got uh, my outline about halfway done. I'm going through the synopsis and breaking that thing down and organizing that into the three acts. You know, I'm looking at uh, my synopsis and I'm saying, okay, what's going to happen in act one? What's going to be the uh, crisis or, or the problem or the issue or the main incident that's going to happen at the end of Act 1 to get us into Act 2? And then I'm going to see what elements in that uh, story uh, are going to build to a climax in the midpoint and um, what act is going to happen at the end of the uh, Act 2 to propel us into Act 3 and to close things down and to resolve our issue completely and complete the screenplay where everybody's happy. Everything, all the problems have been resolved. So that's the idea, and I've got the, uh, I've got the synopsis written. And I'm about halfway through getting the outline written. Um, so that's what I've done over the last five days. And so I hope to begin write, really getting t into the writing sometime later this week. Uh, but anyway, this morning, <clears throat> let's just for a couple of moments, we're not going to be here long. Uh, and again, chop into uh, chat and let me know if you're with us this morning. And if you got any questions or any comments, let me know. Um, Crucial elements of a good story. 
I was watching a video on YouTube yesterday with some guy, script writer from Hollywood, and he was talking about how the story is basically about character. Stories are based on what a character or a group of characters are doing. Uh, what uh, are they trying to achieve? What is it they want? Why can't they get it? What problems arise along the way? And how do they ultimately get what they want? Um, it's all based on sort of characters. So you'll notice here, first off, off I've got here, strong characters. Good stories must have strong characters. Um, then also engaging conflict. You've got to have some central conflict going on to drive the story. Um, without conflict, you've really got nothing. And if you're watching a movie or reading a novel or looking at some sort of, uh, you know, uh, some sort of uh, formatted uh, film or whatever, whatever I'm trying to say here, story, if you're looking at something and it's boring, it's probably because there's no conflict or the conflict is, is sort of uh, fake. You just don't buy it, you don't believe it. Because I have watched some movies and some streaming shows on Netflix where things have started to bog down and get boring and it's because the conflict is either overblown and you can obviously tell they've stuck it in there because they felt like they needed it and you just don't buy it or, or there's very little conflict at all. So uh, that is a very crucial element of a good story. Um, tension and suspense. We're going to talk about tension and suspense later on because it's, you know, it's crucial. Why did that character do that? You know, what's going to happen next? You know, what's she up to? Why did she say that? Um, building up the tension and suspense and trying to figure out, you know, what's going to happen around the next corner. Theme is also very important. There should be some sort of underlying message, or some sort of underlying theme that sort of brings everything together. It's a way that we as writers can focus on one thing that we're trying to convey. You know, if we really have something we want to communicate to an audience, we do that with a theme. And then the uh, script itself, the storyline, should all be in support of getting across that theme. And it's sort of the cement that will hold everything together. And of course, we want emotions. We've got to have some emotional resonance. Um, getting some emotional responses and connections from the audience. And uh, that's also going to be crucial. Dialogue and pacing. Dialogue, of course, is um, very important because, uh, I mean, that's what film is. It's a lot of dialogue and a lot of action. So we've got to figure out a way to make dialogue natural and meaningful and conversational and make it seem real. And it's got to, it's got to fit your storyline. Um, you know, if you've got a film that's taking place in the South, you're going to have people with Southern accents and they're going to have to talk and act like they live in the South. Of course, unless your character is from the North and he's an oddball and has that New York accent, but everything should fit. Uh, pacing, uh, balancing action, dialogue and exposition to keep the story moving forward. Um, you're making a promise to the audience at the very beginning that you're going to propel them forward in a story and you've got to fulfill that promise. Um, there is a promise you're making, and in order to make that promise um, come to life, you've got to fulfill that promise by keeping things moving forward. Otherwise, the audience is going to check out, and you're going to lose them. And of course, visual, sensory descriptions. Uh, this is where a lot of our good writing will come into play because we can really talk about some, dis some of these vivid descriptions about the world that our characters are living in. 
And then, of course, uh, at the Act 3, in Act 3, we've got this conflict resolution. We've got to have a satisfying end to the story so that everybody feels like, okay, all the pieces have come together and everything makes sense, and we've resolved our problems and our issues. So, crucial elements of a good story. Out of these 10, which do you think is the most important? Well, I said 10. Actually, I thought there were 10. I've got nine on here. So out of these nine crucial elements, which do you think are the most important? Gosh, for me, if I were to choose, I would say strong characters. You've got to have strong characters, and I think you've got to have a good theme, and you've got to have some conflict. I think if you can get those things nailed down, the character, the conflict, and this underlying theme to hold everything together, I think we'll be well on our way. I mean, if I were to choose the top three, character, conflict, theme, I think that's what I would go with. And among those three, man, I've got to think about strong characters. If I've got some character or two characters in the film that I'm really tied into and really resonate and connect to, then I can put up with a lot of other stuff that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, as long as I've got some good characters. So, all right. I guess we'll come to a close here today. Thanks for being with me. And let's see if we can get some writing done. I'll be back here with you tomorrow morning at 8.30. And uh, let me know how things are going. And thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. We will talk to you later.